crackberry.com. Hey, everybody. Blaze here for crackberry.com. Now, yesterday, Kevin went ahead and gave you guys an unboxing video for the Rogers Blackberry Bold 9900. Today, Bell went ahead and released their version of the Blackberry Bold 9900, but in addition to that, they released the Blackberry Torch 9810 as well. Um, that's exactly what's inside this box, so what we're going to do is go ahead, pop it open, show you guys a quick tour of the hardware and everything, and um, yeah, that's it. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, basically, uh, as you guys can see, the box that it comes in doesn't necessarily have any branding on it or anything like that. Uh, only a label on this side, which shows the pin, so I won't show you guys that. Uh, immediately flipping open the box, oh, from the bottom here, and once the box is open, you get the device, of course, on the top. And the device itself doesn't, uh, doesn't have any branding on it either. No Bell logos anywhere or anything like that. And flip it over. Now, one thing uh, most people will probably instantly recognize is the fact that the battery door on the back has changed in comparison to the Torch 9800. The Torch 9800 does have a rubbery, grippy back door. The 9810 has a silver finish, and which really does feel a whole heck of a lot slipperier. Um, if you're a previous torch owner, or if you're just looking to buy a different battery door, you could switch the 9800 door for the 9810, and basically just keep the same battery door that you have uh, on there, and um, give up the less slip or more slippery one. Um, so we'll set the device aside, find out what Bell gives you in the box. Push that over there. Now, instantly, I noticed the uh, the oh so awesome random piece of paper. You got to make sure that carriers include that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, you also get your micro USB charger in here. You get your user guides for the BlackBerry Torch 9010 smartphone. You guys know how to set those up. I don't really need to open them. Set your phones up. I mean. Uh, you get a battery as well, and the battery is the exact same as what is on the Torch 9800, so if you own a previous Torch 9800 and you're upgrading to the Torch 9810, congratulations, you now have a spare battery that you can make use of. Um, you also get a standard wired headphones in the box. Uh, nobody ever uses them, so make sure that you skip on over to crackberry.com and get yourself a nice pair of headphones to use. Uh, you also get the micro USB charger included in the box. And finally, you get a polishing cloth. Now, this is branded. This is one of the things that does come branded. It actually has a Blackberry logo on it. It's quite cool. Anyhow, so we'll just go ahead and move all of this stuff to the side and grab the battery grab the phone so we're gonna go ahead pop the battery door off same process for getting the battery door off so if, again if you're a previous torch owner then you should find it rather easy um, immediately notice that there's no uh, no SD card or anything in here uh, that seems kinda standard and really kinda cheap carriers haven't uh, haven't been including them there wasn't any in my Rogers Bold 9900 either um, so we'll go ahead and put the battery door back on here, if I can get it on. Snap. And um, a quick walk around the hardware. You get your micro USB card slot on the side for charging. You get the lock button, the silence button. You get your 3.5 millimeter head jack up top, your volume up and down rocker and your convenience key and that's pretty much loaded up now I've noticed that the BlackBerry 7 devices do of course load up a whole heck of a lot faster than previous versions now that could be an attribution of the 1.2 gigahertz processor that's included in there um, of course it could be the fact that there is no apps loaded on it either but uh, on my Bold 9900 I have about 15 apps on it and it loads up just as quick as if there was no apps on it so that's uh, probably something that's related to the Qualcomm processor more than the operating system so there we have the device fully booted up now and uh, 
let's see. Now I didn't, didn't notice the uh, setup wizard come up, so that's rather interesting. So let's go have a look at the OS at this point. Into device, about device versions. So when you pick up the BlackBerry Torch 9810, you're getting 7.0.0.261 preloaded onto there. I'm sure they'll be rolling out some updates as of yet, but uh, quite honestly, the same version is on the Bold 9900, and I really haven't had any issues with it at this point. And let's see, I don't, uh, again, I don't have a SIM card in here, so let's see what happens. No messages. Oh, look. Um, do you have a valid SIM card? No, I do not. Show me how. Interesting tutorial video for it. Um, if you don't have a SIM card, then you can continue, submit, and um, carry on with whatever it is that you're doing. So let's go ahead and have a look at that new keyboard here. No messages. Okay, continue. Now that wouldn't happen if I had a SIM card in there, but hey. So there you guys can uh, get a good look at the on-screen keyboard. Of course, when you flip the device open, the on-screen keyboard does go away. And what else can we have a quick look at? Device. Storage. Now out of the box, there is 191.6 megabytes of application storage, built-in storage, shows a total space of 6.2 gigabytes, free space, 5.9 gigabytes, media card support is on, but there's no media card present, so we can't show you that. And let's see. And the BlackBerry browser bookmarks are set up, basically showing you the images rather than just the links for it. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not really a whole lot that we can show in regards to the BlackBerry Torch 9810 over the uh, BlackBerry Torch 9800. Uh, again, for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much the exact same device, except for you get that 640 by 480 to display, and you know the 768 megabytes of RAM in there, and um, that's it. Uh, you know, if you're a Torch fan, we're uh, going to have a full review up here in not too long. Just going to take some time and see exactly how it performs over the 9800 and um, give you guys uh, a total overlook of everything, I guess you could say, for it. Is there any demo videos? There is. That's actually a different video than what is loaded on the BlackBerry Bold 9900. Anyways, more on this later, so uh, stay tuned, guys. That's it. Blades out.